Because speaking of WWE, another big WWE announcement, because I think all this stuff happened on one day. The covers for WWE 2K24 has been released along with a release date. I believe it is March 5th. On one cover, we have the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, on the Standard Edition. On the Deluxe Edition, we have Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley sharing the, the cover of the Deluxe Edition. In addition to those two covers, we have a 40 Years of WrestleMania version featuring 21 different matches across 21 of some of the greatest matches in WrestleMania history that you can now play through. Uh, WWE 2K is also bringing back casket matches, ambulance matches, features backstage, um, which are some some features of some pretty pretty well known uh, WWE games, such as Here Comes the Pain and 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 SmackDown versus Raw. So I want to know, based on the information that we've received about WWE 2K 24, how are you feeling? Are you are you excited? Are you eager? Is this a game that you want to buy? Um, I harassed my boyfriend to pre-order it, so um, <laughs> I'm definitely getting it. And we definitely playing, and we definitely on Twitch, people. We would definitely gonna be on Twitch playing against one another because I am hyped. Um, and the fact that we got Cody Rose and Bianca on the front, we are eating good for Black History Month. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I'm super excited for it. Um, I actually like the choices that we went with. Um, just because even though Cody didn't like get any gold, I feel like, um, he was the highlight of going into 2023, um, with his whole build. Actually, what, actually, no, I, yeah, I feel like he was the highlight with his whole, um, beef with Seth Rollins up and through to the Royal Rumble, up and through to like his mania moment, even like though he kind of dipped with like the way you know, he's being booked and stuff like that. He's always kind of been important in the loop. Um, so I just feel like if I was the person developing the game, I was going off of back then, not so much right now where it's the exact moment. Then, yeah, Cody makes sense if you're going to choose any of the males that we didn't already see. Um, so shout out to Cody. I love you some Cody Luther Rhodes, her. Um, Bianca is a no-brainer just because, like, she's – I mean, I would have to see a whole list of accolades, but I feel like she's, like, the most decorated – woman that we have in such a small amount of time like she's doing stuff that like ha having a tv show and we're gonna get into that having a yeah, tv yeah. show uh she had both belts she won the royal rumble um the, the mania entrances just um just she, she's done so much in like such a small amount of time the way they book her like a superhero it's just like why would you not <laughs> why would you not have her on the front you know, she's been doing it big and she's been working like nonstop. And then Rhea Ripley, um, at first I was a little bit annoyed that she was sharing a, uh, a cover with Bianca, but then we had a little chat about some in the, in the group chat or whatnot. Rhea has, as Jordan put it, a cult like fan base. And once he put it like that, I was like, honestly, and it's rooted in, in the sex appeal specifically, is what you said. And when I thought about it from that perspective, I was just like, all right, that makes a lot of sense. Because you're thinking about all de demographics that are like, going to be buying this game, um, putting Raya on the front. It makes me think of like when I was a kid, and my favorite game, y'all know, is like Day Reckoning 2. Um, Trish was on both covers for one and two. And I think they, no, no. Trish was on number one. Stacey Keebler was on number two. And Stacey Keebler was like never like a champion or none of that shit. But they chose Stacey Keebler on the second one for a reason. They put, they put Trish on the left side for the first game for a reason because sex sells. You know, so maybe she's not as decorated as Bianca in that sense, but if you're thinking smart on what's going to, like, fly off the shelves, people are going to see Rhea and think that's a really interesting look and want to go with her. And I can't blame people because, I mean, she's an attractive-looking woman, as is Bianca. Bianca's fire. But I'm super excited for this game. I'm definitely going to be playing it. Um, I definitely want to stream it, if anything. So be on the lookout for that. But, Jordan, what do you think about the cover, anything that you heard about the game, were you hyped? I'm super excited about this game. I feel like they chose the absolute right people to be on the covers. Cody Rhodes has been arguably one of the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even Hogan, Terry. We're calling him Terry, all right? Except for <laughs> Terry. Um, I agree with everyone who is on all the covers of WWE 2K24. If we're being completely honest, from the time that Cody has come into WWE until now, he has been one of, if not the hottest babyface 
Him and Jey Uso, I think, are the hottest baby faces in WWE. So it just makes sense to put Cody on the cover of the Standard Edition. As far as Bianca and Rhea being kind of splitting up uh, cover duties, that makes sense as well. We all know that Bianca Belair is a star, highly accomplished. I think she's undefeated at Mania at this point. One of the first black women to main event WrestleMania. Rhea, on the other hand, we look at what she's been able to accomplish in this past year. She has the cult-like following. She has the look. In our in recent memory, she's really the only woman to lead a predominantly male faction. She's had face-offs with many male wrestlers. She's kind of been on the other side. Like I think Bianca put, put it correctly. Uh, Rhea and Bianca have been climbing up opposite sides of the same mountain. And we see it. We see their their collective ascent from when they were in NXT to now being on the main roster and being main eventers. So I just think that it just makes sense that uh, that Bianca and Rhea are on the cover. I'm super excited for all these features. This is the first time I've been excited for a WWE game of this magnitude since like SmackDown versus Raw 04. And I think that the reason why I'm so excited is because of all 04. these features. 04. Yeah, SmackDown like versus you that, that was okay, the original so, one. That was the first one, though. I'm that saying, was the first it one. After you like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, I got all of them. The I got. All, I was, was hyped for it, them? but remember, but remember, remember, remember. Before SmackDown versus Raw, Raw was on Xbox and SmackDown was on P2, and I had a P2. So this is the first time I had access to the Raw roster on a P2. Now, for all the other games, I was hyped for them, but at the same time. The first time that I heard I could use Triple H on my PS2, I was bugging out. So, yes, I was bugging out. So, of course. No, I I think all the. Six, eight, 11 have me in a chokehold. Nah, I think 07, 08 was one of my favorite ones, too, because I think that was the first year that they featured uh, ECW. And that's when they had like the flaming flaming tables and all that and stuff like that. And GMO. 07, yep. I remember 07 was the one that had Batista and Cena on the cover. So I remember that one. But yeah, yeah, like I'm super excited for this game. I think it's going to do numbers. And the fact that it's coming out around WrestleMania is just perfect marketing. So, But we want to know how you guys feel about WWE 2K24. Let us know in the comments below how you feel about it. We're going to be moving on.